Hi everyone, welcome to Quantport Securities. So in this video, I will describe how you can add your Zerotha account into Quantport Securities. So I am already logged in. I will go to account configuration first. So here I will select Zerotha for adding any Zerotha accounts. So there are two stages basically. So one is the first part where you will need the Zerotha client ID, password and the TOTP pin or the TOTP key and the second step is to get the api key and secret so in the first part i will cover how you can generate the totp key so for that you need to go to kite and my username is already showing i don't have the password so right now it is already configured with totp so let me open my google authenticator app in my mobile device okay so it's logged in and to get the totp key you need to go to my profile and password and security so you can see my external totp is already enabled so to regenerate this you need to disable this first so i will click on disable external totp and i will confirm my password so one OTP will go into my registered email, I will enter that. So it is disabled now, it will again ask me for login. So now it will ask for mobile app code. So for that I need to go to the Kite app and my Kite app is also logged out, let me log in in my mobile and it will send otp to my mobile number and i have received the otp in my mobile number and i will enable the two-factor authentication and in my mobile app in the settings i will be able to find the app code and from app code i can see this is my code i will enter it here so this is the usual way that you log in for zero tha. but now i will set up the TOTP going to password and security so here I have to enable the external TOTP so once I click here it will again send me one email with the OTP I have received this so once it is done this QR code will be generated so what you need to do you need to add it in your Google Authenticator first so let me scan it in my mobile okay the TOTP is now populating in my mobile device so before doing anything you need to copy it you can see this is copied in my clipboard so I will go to Quantbot now and paste the TOTP key here and my zero the client ID also the password so first part is done now so before doing anything I need to confirm this so I will enter my password and the TOTP which I can see in my mobile device so this is I am copying from my Google Authenticator app so you can see this is enabled now it will log out yeah, it is logged out I will enter the password again now it is asking for the TOTP. I will enter the TOTP. So I can see this TOTP is set up properly and I have also received the TOTP key which I have pasted in Quantport Securities. So now I can log out from here. This part is done. Make sure you log out before doing anything. And now I will close it simply. And now to get the API key and secret, you have to go to Kite Connect. And please note whether it's a master account or a child account, whatever account you are adding, you need to give the API key and secret to add any Zerotha account. So to do that, I will go to Kite Connect. I will search it simply. And I will go there. And if you don't have an account already, you can sign up here. 
I am already having a Kite Connect account and this is a different account rather than your DMAT account. This is a developer account which you need to create. So I already have it. Let me log in. So as you can see, I don't have any app right now. And for any app, so for each individual account, you have to create a new app and every app costs 2000 rupees and you can see i have already added 2000 rupees and it is showing in my balance so you can add it from here and the payment gateway will open from here you can add the credits so i already have it i'll go to my apps and create a new app you can see it is asking for the credit you have to select the connect one not the publisher one you have to select the connect one and let me give a sample name like point bot and here i need to mention my zeroga client id this is my client id you can give any icon i'm not choosing anything for now and the redirect url this you need to follow and please note this part will be different for every user so the format is https www.quantbotsecurities.com slash zerodha redirects and at the end just after zerodha redirects put a slash and then you have to enter your client id so in my case it will be yz5375 if your username is abc1234 then you need to enter abc1234 in this case and this whole link and the format i will paste it in the description box as well you can check it from there otherwise you can check it from our telecom channel and postback url you can leave blank as this is not mandatory description you can write anything like point for automation so my app is all set now i'll create and to type it okay and the app is created and you can see my 2000 credit is gone so i will go to the app here you can see the api key so i will copy this and paste it in quantbot same for the api secret you need to click here you can see that the api secret and you can paste it so this app is now configured for this particular account which is my account and if you want to use another app or any new account you are adding you need to create a new app for that so let's save it and i'm all set and now i can simply log out and close this one also so all the fields are there mobile number email are optional so now i have to click on add let's see so it will redirect me to Zerotha. Okay, I'll enter my password. Now it is asking for the TOTP, and TOTP I will get from the Google Authenticator. And it is asking to authorize this app, and this is the same app name that I given few minutes back. So I'll authorize this. So you can see, yes, this Zerotha account is added now. So I don't have any balance right now uh, that's why it is not showing it is showing zero but you can check my name is showing over here that means it is successfully added and the connection is also showing success. So if I go to kite right now it is logged out so if you want to add any new zero the account over here what you need to do you need to open a new tab and go to kite and you need to log out from here first and then only you can add new accounts so in this case you can see it's already logged out so there is no problem i can go with adding new account but yeah if you are logged in you need to log out first then only you can add a new account otherwise you will face errors so these are the steps to add any zero account in quantbot securities i hope you like the video thank you for watching